So this question is a diagram question. I really call any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call it a diagram question, right? So it's kind of a catch-all, could be a table, could be a graph, could be a circle, could be a triangle. Um, I'm going to call it a diagram question. I call these diagram questions basically because there's some visual input that's been provided and I really want to pay very close attention to it. So before I even start to read, I'm going to pay attention to this graph. It looks like I have an X and Y axis. Looks like my x axis goes out to 16, my y axis goes up to 12, my x axis is time spent by John, and my y axis is time spent by Lucia. Um, none of that tells me exactly what it, I'm looking at here, but it does. Um, I can pay attention to the graph here and say, you know, as we move to the right across the graph, the time spent by, by Lucia goes down, right, as the time spent by John actually goes up. So that's important to know, potentially. Let's look at the question. Lucia and John will work together to make 60 paper flowers for a school party. The line shown represents the possible combination. So let's pay attention to that. It is not the actual combination of time. It is the possible combinations of time and hours spent by Lucia and John to fulfill this task. So I always like to make sure I understand what I read before going to the actual question. So I think, based upon what I read, that if I were to draw a point right here at the top of this graph, that that would mean Lucia worked 12 hours and John worked zero hours, but they still were able to create these 60 uh, paper flowers. And if I were to choose a point, let's say right here, that would mean that Lucia worked four hours and John worked 10 hours in order to produce those 60 paper flowers. Alrighty, so let's look at the question. According to the graph, on average, how many paper flowers will Lucia make per hour? Now that's very interesting. Okay, so let's see. I know that she can make 60 flowers in 12 hours. It's kind of something I'd already paid attention to there, right? So if the question's only asking about Lucia, I need to find a data point that only includes Lucia. And that would only be my y-intercept, a point that I've already identified here a couple of times now. So again, that point tells me that um, to make those 60, it takes 12 hours, right? So 12 hours is to make the 60 flowers. So if the question's asking how many paper flowers will Lucia make per hour, then I could just use this equation, this ratio, to figure out the answer. I can reduce this fraction by 12. 12 goes into itself once, so I get my unit to be one hour or per hour, which is exactly what I want. And 12 goes into 60 five times. So by reducing that ratio, I get that Lucia makes five flowers per hour. That's exactly what we're looking for. The answer choice must be B. Hopefully that makes sense. There's so much information here that's not even necessary because, again, the question doesn't even ask about John at all, okay? This is the only point here where Lucia is working alone.